I've spent uh, my life in the United States uh, growing up being consciously aware that um, at least when I was very young that I was a part of a, a minority group. Physically I looked different uh, from my ancestral past. I had different stories, different backgrounds from many of my neighbors, many of my classmates. Walking around on a street, you become used to just being aware that you're, sort of, you're a minority. Walking around the streets of Kujuak, I could have been absolutely invisible. Uh, just as when I occasionally tour Japan, uh, for the moment that I, I just am in a subway or on a train, for the moment of being completely invisible because I, I look like everybody else, it's an arresting uh, moment. Of course, that's, that's only a superficial uh, observation because the moment I begin really move, the body language is different, the way, uh, the way I speak is different, you know, the way I think of aesthetics is, is com is completely different and even uh, the rhythm of social interaction is completely different. But just for that moment of being invisible, it's something that uh, really take, takes you aback for a moment. One of the moments where you feel the closest to your collaborators are not so much when you're playing music for somebody else, but when you're making music together. That's what we did on this last tour and it brought us very, very close together because you're you're depending on one, on one on each other, you're collaborating with each other, and if you're fortunate enough to have a successful experience, it's because you've done it together.